So this week on The Andrew Claven Show, we got a really interesting letter about video games in the mailbag. Go and subscribe to The Andrew Claven Show. You will like it. We decided this week we were going to take a look at some of the games that are coming out. Now, to be absolutely honest with you, I'm still playing God of War because I only have a few minutes every day to play it, uh, but I am making a lot of progress. So we'll look at some new stuff that should come out by the time I'm finished with uh, God of War. These are, uh, you know, previews for the games. Uh, the first trailer is Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Uh, it's coming out in at the end of April, so a couple of weeks. You were only a child when they sent you off to war. Now look at you. The weight of a galaxy on your shoulders. I cannot tell you who you must become. Or where the line is drawn. There are no easy choices. <laughs> These are dark times. We have few allies. Good to see you, Gal. The odds are against <laughs> us. That's great. And they will always be against us. Now or never. But I can tell you this. If there is any hope of surviving, we must stand against the darkness. So I, I don't know, for some reason I said Jedi survivors. Obviously, it's the Jedi. Uh, Jedi is in Latin. I was speaking Latin. Was, uh, <laughs> you know, that looked absolutely superlative. I got to say, the graphics were incredible. The human faces were so much better uh, than a lot of these games. God of War, if I have one complaint about it, I mean, the world is brilliant. If I have one complaint about God of War, it's that the uh, warfare is, is repetitive. You're virtually doing the same thing almost in every uh, level, but I really like the fact that that looked like it had some really varied fighting skills uh, and really varied monsters and, and challenges to fight. Uh, you know, the, the funny thing is, I'm not the biggest fan of Star Wars films. I thought the first one was good. But they've always seemed a little simplistic to me. But the games that I have played, uh, several of the Star Wars games, and they are good. They're really much better <laughs> for me than the films. And that looked like a really good one, I got to say. So that's good. End of April, uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. This is The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, Legend of Zelda always has these titles, you know. Breath of the Wild is a very, very strange. One of the things when uh, video games were first coming up is they all had titles like that. They would just put two words together, you know, that sounded kind of poetic but had absolutely no meaning at all. So it would be like Silver Earlobe, you know. <laughs> Just like completely ridiculous game. Legend of Zelda maintains that with Tears of the Kingdom. So let's take a look at that. All right, so that looks totally different than the usual Zelda. That's not going to end well for this kid. I got to. Oh, there he's got a par parachute. <laughs> for a minute. Yeah, just holding your arms out like that doesn't really help. and the birth of his new world. Link! You must find me. You're right there on the bench. <laughs> That's the Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. It's out May 12th. Now, my, my confession. I hate the Zelda games. I hate every single one of them. Every time one comes out, somebody I trust and like says to me, oh, no, no, this one, you got to play this. Oh, my God. No, I know the other ones. Yeah, I get, I get what you're saying, but, they, but this one, you got to play. F*** off. F*** off. Every single time I get gulled into playing them, I get about 
I don't know, maybe two hours into it. And I just think, I hate this. I hate the graphics. I hate the uh, affect. I hate the kind of sensitive uh, characters with their little sensitive Pokemon faces. I just I just hate everything about it. And like the puzzles are vaguely interesting. I, I always like puzzle games and they do have puzzles in them. And that's the one thing. But the graphics are so bad. And, and I hate these worlds where it takes you forever to find the next thing you're supposed to do. I just, I can't stand it, these open worlds. Now, I'm told by people who love these games that it's basically kind of a meditative thing. If I want to meditate, I sit with my legs crossed uh, and watch, you know, the news. But like, <laughs> not gonna, I hate these games. This looks like another one. It, it did have some scenes that I looked at and I thought, well, that would be fun, you know, like leaping from platform to platform, like in a kind of old Mario thing. But I've just never liked them. Uh, so if you like Zelda, that looked like a Zelda game. Uh, even the name Zelda, you know, <laughs> I'm just, just not a fan, not a fan. I never have been. And I do not understand why their graphics, why it's good that their graphics are so lousy. What is that about? I mean, I'm sure uh, somebody on YouTube will explain it to me, but um, I won't be reading it. Now, Diablo 4, out June 6th. I have to tell you, Diablo was one of the first games I ever just fell absolutely insanely in love with. That's not entirely true. It's one of the first games that actually convinced me that this was going to become a new means of storytelling. I remember picking it up in a five pound bin when I lived in England, uh, where they had thrown a bunch of stuff that they were just trying to get rid of. And the, and the cover, this is the first Diablo. So we're talking about the 90s. The cover was really cool, had a kind of demon on it. And I took it home and I broke my mouse. I played it so much because remember, you have to click the mouse fighting sword, sword, sword. So I'm interested to see this. Let's take a look. This is out Diablo 4 out June 6th. The dream continues to haunt me, old friend. There's no one left to stand against them. Diablo 4. It looks just like Diablo. It comes out June 6th. I probably won't play that because I've just played the Diablo game. There really is only one Diablo game. You go from place to place and a lot of things cluster around you and you kill them. Uh, but that did look good. I got to say, it looked uh, it looked really fun and uh, very vivid. And as always, Diablo, I, I think because of the aspect, it's different than most games, right? It has that kind of third person up from above perspective that you get on uh, some of the later Lara Croft games and things like that. Because of that, I think they can do better detail so the things look uh, more real and more uh, alive and vivid. So it looked good. It's just the, the whole problem with Diablo has always been the repetitive nature of the game. They've never really gotten away from that. It's just, you know, just click that, basically hit that button over and over again. Uh, still, that did look, uh, if, you're, if you're a Diablo fan and you like playing Diablo, that looked like Diablo. So uh, that's something you might uh, enjoy and, and look for. Now, I have to be honest. I want to be honest before I show this. This is Final Fantasy 16. Um, this is out at the end of June, June 22nd. I also hate Final Fantasy. I, I don't like these games where you have to do a lot of talking and I don't like games where you have to endlessly create your character and all this stuff. Now, I'm told that this game is not going to be like this. It's going to be more uh, God of War-like, you know, just a, a battle game. Let's take a look at it. I mean, if it's different, it's different. Be interesting if it's different because people who love Final Fantasy, like The Legend of Zelda, they love this game. Obviously, there's 16 of them, so there's, the audience is still there for it, but maybe they're changing it up. Let's take a look. Take Joshua and get to safety. Your Highness! Run! 
Joshua! Yeah, that looked really good. That looked really different. Different than most of the Final Fantasy games. Much more active uh, and exciting. I liked it. it had some emotional uh, uh, you know, power behind it. And uh, that actually looked good. Of all those games, I thought the Star Wars uh, Jedi Survivor, or in Latin, uh, Jedi Quanacunicap, uh, Feliz. That looked the best, I thought. And I would definitely try that, because I, I really like those Star Wars games. They're actually much more creative than a lot of them. And somehow, the all the stuff that comes from the movies enlivens it and makes it more varied. Final Fantasy looked pretty good, though. I gotta be honest. So of all of those, Star Wars first, uh, I'd say Final Fantasy second, Diablo third, Legend of Zelda, I would put that about 15th. <laughs> those, those are something, if you're a gamer, to look forward to. For more great content, like and subscribe. And don't forget to subscribe to The Andrew Clavin Show wherever you get your podcasts.